We have no agenda or political affiliation. This is a prank call and nothing more. This woman tries to trick people into thinking she has a voicemail system, but she actually has an answering machine. You've reached a voicemail for Dr. Please note, if you voted for Obama or plan to vote for the corrupt traitor Hillary, I firmly believe that you are either against God and country or are too uninformed or unintelligent to understand what is happening in America, and I prefer you call someone else. Due to the extreme demand for my services and high volume of calls, it may take over a week to return your call, and I may not call until I have something scheduled in your area. If after a week you haven't received a call, I may not have been able to understand your number, so you might want to leave another message. However, calling daily will not result in quicker response. I understand your frustration, but your patience is appreciated. Thank you. Hi, uh, Dr. This is Tom Saltermeyer, Ph.D. Uh, I would just uh, like to uh, speak with you. Uh, I, I firmly believe that, uh, I, I, first of all, I don't agree with your position, but I think that uh, Hillary Clinton is the uh, right choice, and I'm appalled. You, you think that an absolute corrupt traitor is the right choice? Do you pay attention to anything that she's done? All of the lies, all of the emails, all of the fraud, all of the corruption, that's okay with you? Ma'am. That's okay with you? What, what, what's, your, what's your standard of integrity? Absol- absolutely zero, right? Go, you need to get yourself educated, you stupid idiot. You need to go and look at the Clinton Chronicles. It's well documented. That shows all of her scandals going all the way back to Arkansas. You can pull, pull them up on your computer. The Clinton Chronicles 1. There's a second one, the Clinton Chronicles 2. If you're too lazy to do that, get, that- yourself to a, get yourself to a theater and watch Hillary's America. It'll give you a little idea. But there's plenty of scandals. Comey is corrupt. He needs to lose his job because he spelled out all of her felonies. She is a traitor. She violated multiple laws. She belongs in prison. And if you're too stupid to understand that, then you're too stupid to vote. Ma'am, can I just ask you who wrote the Clinton Chronicles? Was it Ray Bradbury? (laughs) No, moron. Look it up. It's well documented. Every one of her scandals going back to Arkansas, you need to get yourself educated. She is the most disgusting, corrupt piece of garbage to ever run for office. Ma'am, you obviously don't care about integrity. I'd like to know what kind of crimes you commit since you think that that's okay. Ma'am, I do have education. I I have a PhD. I doubt you do. If you think Clinton is the best choice for this country, if you Uh, can't understand how corrupt that piece of shit is, you are not an intelligent person. Ma'am, I like Mr. Trump. I just don't think I like him as a politician. Well, we don't need a politician. Look at the mess this country's in. He wasn't my first choice, but between the two... He's a hell of a lot better choice than her. She she has no business running for office. The woman should be in prison. She needs to be in prison. Do you think Obama... the fact that Democrats think that somebody that disgusting is their best choice is really appalling, showing how bad the Democratic Party has dropped into the abyss. And well, this country will not survive if that piece of crap gets in. This country will not survive. Did you like Bernie, though? No. I'm not a socialist. I, would, I think Bernie's less dangerous than Hillary. But I don't think Bernie is a good choice because he's a socialist. He can't, who's going to pay for all of the things he wants to do? Well, he's not a Muslim, though. No, he's not a Muslim. That's the something. piece of crap in the White House is a Muslim, surrounded by Muslim terrorists, who's brought the Muslim Brotherhood, a terrorist organization, in as his top advisors. Well, I have a PhD, and I do think... In what? Piled high and deep in what? 
You're obviously not very intelligent. I don't care how you studied and passed tests. You're not intelligent if you can't understand what's going on. It's a literary education, but do you think... Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Some liberal crap that indoctrinated, indoctrinated you, and you're not intelligent enough to, to pay attention and look and investigate for yourself. Right? You let some liberal scum professors fill your head with a bunch of crap, and you didn't go out and look for yourself. No, they were pretty right? concerned. You opposed to the Pledge of Allegiance? You opposed to the American flag? You think it's totally okay for these millionaire athletes to disavow this country? You no, think it's okay I, I, to bring in hundreds of thousands of Muslims that want to take over this country and destroy it? You think it's okay to keep the border open and let these Mexicans come up here illegally and vote? Uh, no, illegally? I, Are you opposed to voter ID like most demon rats? You're, so that illegal aliens and Muslims that have no business being in this country get to vote because they'll vote Democrat? So you people are against voter ID because that's the only way you're going to win with voter fraud, right? And the only reason you would oppose voter ID is to allow voter fraud, right? Ma'am, are you familiar with Phil Collins? Because I think he said that it's no fun being an illegal alien. You, you are a moron. I, I You're just, a moron. I You're just, a moron. You're I, a moron. You're the no. typical democratic piece of crap that's I'm taking not, this country in the toilet. You're I, a moron. You can't defend the piece of shit you're supporting. You're a moron. I, I hope you're sick the day of the election and can't vote because people like you are too stupid to vote.